where to move Google domains to. This is the news. Google domains shutting down assets sold and being migrated to Squarespace. I am super salty about this. Super salty. And I'm not afraid to admit it. I have used Google domains for everything, not everything, most things. And it was like, why, uh, why, why is Google's getting out of, why is Google getting out of the domains business? I mean, it seems like a nice, uh, stable year to year money revenue thing coming in. And if they do the D if they handle the DNS and everything, then they like, they know where like all the traffic is going. If you're routing your things through Google domains. So, uh, is Google domains like an ad juggernaut? No, it's like one of those things behind the scenes that you expect to just be dependable every year and you just use it. Now, some people are saying like, why would you use Google domains anyway? It's a Google thing. They only care about ads. It worked <laughs> and it worked well. Um, it worked, it worked well, and it was better than the experiences that were out there. Uh, Google domains was out for about what, nine years. And, uh, yeah, it was out for about nine years uh, before it got killed. And it was great while it lasted. I didn't, I was, wasn't expecting to see this one coming to say the least. Now, what are the other options for moving on from Google domains? So where I was using before Google domains was hover.com. I was using hover.com for my domains because it just worked like, I could get domains It came with uh, the who is like the privacy for your domains and everything that you didn't have to pay extra for and renewals like they um, renewals work pretty well. They give you they don't try to upsell you on a bunch of crap and stuff like that. So uh, hover was the one that I, so I did the, I did like the natural progression when I didn't know any better. I went with GoDaddy. GoDaddy tried to sell you a bunch of junk. So then I moved to hover and, um, hover worked great. And the only reason I moved off of hover is because Google domains had a better experience of buying domains and like availability of domains. There's also ones out there like Cloudflare that somebody mentioned and Namecheap and other ones like that. I haven't used those. Um, but if the migration process from Google domains is good with those, then we'll see if, uh, I'll have to definitely check those out and see if the, um, if the process is any better. Cause, uh, I have never bought domains on Squarespace and I don't really have any interest in, uh, buying them off of Squarespace. So, uh, yeah, Google, Google domains, you had to hook into Google workspace. Like all of it was just like there in a nice package, uh, for the web and Google is about the web, uh, or at least they were. So I don't know what they're going to be about now. I guess they're like doubling everything going in on AI and everything. So we'll see what, what develops out of that. But one thing about Google domains is that I think also, and this, maybe this is where my saltiness comes in. Google domains, if we look and expect here in the application, um, let's look through all the, get through all the div soup here. Uh, where is it? Google domains is an angular app. It's a big angular app. So not only did Google domains go away, they probably are killing one of the biggest angular applications, uh, out there. Uh, and this is kind of the, the way you can tell something's built with angular at Google, because it has this ng version, this ng version here with this zero, zero, zero placeholder, because they build everything off of, uh, 
head. They build everything off the main branch and they don't use like Angular version 16.0. They're just like on whatever's latest synced into Google. So yeah, so that was one of that one that was probably part of the thing that kind of hit me with Google Domains also was that of course the service that I enjoyed using was going away and it's taking with it like a public facing Angular app that Google builds that's core to their business or was core to their business. Uh, so it's a shame. So now we have to see what the, what these other, uh, providers build their apps with, but it was like one of those things you see, um, something built with their framework of choice out in the wild. And now you're seeing that that thing is getting shut down. So I didn't want to do the hot take of one of the biggest angular apps is getting shut down. Like <laughs> what's going to happen next. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I was, I felt some kind of way about Google domains being shut down, even from a, like a practical standpoint and from, uh, an angular standpoint. Cause like I said, you can, you can see angular apps of that scale out in the open. And if you ask people who use Google domains, they probably wouldn't say, Oh, it's an, I wouldn't have expected to be an angular app because it's, you know, fast or whatever. So, and, uh, but yeah, that was the that was the thing about Google domains being shut down and my thoughts on that. So take it for what it's worth. We're going to move on to the next one.